guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my October favourites. It's obviously beauty for the most part, but I do have one thing that's not beauty. So, yeah. I think the majority of the things that I've got in my favourites are on my face. So, that's good. It shows I love it. So yeah, let's get into it. First up, it's only a sample size, or a deluxe sample size, so... That's why it's tiny, but I'm purchasing the real deal tomorrow. This is the Clinique Pep Star, and it's the uh, two-in-one hybrid moisturizer and primer. It's the it's called the Hydro Blur Moisturizer. This is actually more of a primer in my opinion. I would never use it as a moisturizer. I don't think it's enough for your skin. But as a primer, <gasps> it's beautiful. Oh my god, it's so good. I used to wear the um, Murad Oil Control Mattifier and a primer on top because this business is oily as hell. But now I can just use this and it's fine. It works perfectly fine as an oil control, as primer, and I've been using it every day since I've got it and I freaking love it. It's so good. It's only 24.50 for the full size thing. So I'm gonna get that tomorrow. Um, they have another one that's in a yellow pot and that's more like brightening and a bit more hydrating. So if you have drier skin, you might prefer that. Um, but I like this one, it's so good. Next is another skincare product and it's the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. Now I've not touched this one, this is brand new, but I did have a small tube about this. What is it with me in sample sizes? Goodness gracious. It was a smaller size bottle and I've used it up nearly. I got so many uses out of it and I decided to purchase a full size thing because it's that good. I used it today for my skin to give myself a treat and I love it. It really clears your pores, it cleans everything out, makes my face really, really bright and fresh. Uh, it's not overly dry or anything, so I think if you have dry skin, you can use it, just make sure you put a moisturiser on after. But it's lovely, so I'm really happy with this. This. Okay, the final skincare thing, I think. I've been loving my skincare this month. I bought loads, so I've been trying a lot of stuff. Um, I got the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. I've not heard anybody talk about this. I've seen people talk about the moisturiser, the Moisture Surge, and I love that. I've been using that for like three months, and I love it. Love it. So good. So I got the mask as well, and I don't have dry skin, but my cheeks were a little bit dehydrated, so when I can see that they're looking a little bit uh, nasty, I put it on either during the day or overnight. I can, I quite like it under makeup though. Like, if my cheeks are looking a little bit drier, I like it under makeup. It makes it so smooth and silky, and it feels amazing going on. So I recommend trying that if you've got any skin type at all, but if you experience any dryness particularly, or any dehydration, this is for you. Oh, and if you wanted to know what I apply my mask with, not the Moisture Surge one, but the Origins, I've got this Primark brush. It was only like a pound or something, but it's really good. It's just a foundation brush, and it just applies it nicely. For makeup, I've got the Kylie Jenner Burgundy Palette, and I love this. This is what... No, actually, it's not what I've got on my eyes today. Ah, aha. I've got the Zoeva Caramel Melange palette. I think that's what it is. I've got that on my eyes today because I just got it and I wanted to try it. Um, but this I love. I know you will have only just seen some of these things in my haul that I did recently but that's that was kind of a delayed haul. I was meant to film that ages ago. So um, I've been using this stuff quite a lot and this is the burgundy palette and I love this. These are my kind of everyday colours like the warm neutrals. I'm sure you will have seen that a lot if you watch my videos. Um, but yeah it's so good. It is worth the money. I do wish there was a mirror inside but I know that her next palettes are going to have mirrors so... Not that that helps me now, but just for future reference, it's pretty good. So I'm really happy with this. I think it's worth the money, this one, more so than the other one. The other one's really good, but this one is top quality. Next thing is on my face, and it's the Jeffree Star Leo Liquid Lipstick. I got mine on Beauty Bay. This is so nice. Ever since I've got it, I've wore it every day. I love it, it's amazing. The pigmentation, the formula, everything is just perfect. The applicator as well, it fits your lip. Like it's the shape of your lip almost and it's so nice. I just, I just love it so much. Next, I also have on my face and it's the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush in Nude Pop. And it's just a really nice, it looks brown in, in the pan but it's a nice peachy nude. So it's nice and natural, good for autumn when I wear my orange shades. I like a peachy blush to match. And I love this, it goes on like beautiful. <laughs> no, it goes on really nice and seamlessly. It's not one of those ones that just packs on and you're like, eh. it's good. Good stuff. I like the cheap pop blushes. Next is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Now, I had no expectations for this at all. I thought it would be 
probably just like every other concealer out there but it's gorgeous it's really full coverage got it on today i've been wearing it ever since i got it or i alternate between this and the born this way concealer because the born this way one is a little bit more natural in coverage so if you don't want anything too heavy like if i'm wearing a light coverage foundation i don't need a full coverage concealer because it looks a bit stupid so i go for that but for the most part i use this and i love it mine's in the shade m25 warm um the colors are quite unusual to match yourself to so be aware of that but this is gorgeous it doesn't cake it doesn't crease as long as you set it and yeah so that's everything for beauty makeup skincare everything <laughs> i just want to mention one more thing i'm not going to take it off it's this jawbone i don't know if any of you have heard of it you probably have but um it's an activity tracker and my boyfriend got me this like must have been midway through the month i think it was and obviously i've had it on my wrist ever since and i love it it's so good it's addictive like check in to see how much you slept last night or how you slept last night or how much you walked like this afternoon i've seen it only done about 1000 steps and i know it's my day off work but that's bad <laughs> so it makes you get up and walk most of the time i'll do over 10,000, but um it's really really good stuff so check it out if you're looking for something like that it's nice and sleek so you know you can see some of the ones that are quite bulky and you know this one it's not it's nice and sleek it looks like a little bracelet and i love it so much but yeah that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it um give it a thumbs up if you did and please 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 subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm moving so much <laughs> leave any comments or any suggestions of videos down below please and i'll see you in my next video